Good evening. I'm Juliet Goodrich. And I'm Brian Hackney. Many tourists are flocking to Santa Cruz this holiday weekend to enjoy the sun and the surf, but they're not the only ones. Tourists are sharing the sand with a growing homeless encampment. KPX 5's Kit Doe explains there's not much the city can do about it. This is kind of a surreal scene in Santa Cruz. It's a picture perfect day. You got a lot of families enjoying the sun and the sand and the surf. All this colliding with Santa Cruz's homeless crisis. One of the most popular tourist destinations in Santa Cruz, Main Beach, now has some long term visitors. Is it better than camping in the city? Oh, most definitely. Mark Peabody is part of the growing number of homeless who are setting up tents just below the boardwalk. There are now at least a dozen of them. He set up camp about a week ago after hearing that some people were being allowed to stay overnight. He remembers his first morning when there was a knock at the door. I thought I was getting busted, and, but as it turned out, we just need to move our tents uh, for the sweeper. So we just move our tents over like 50 feet until the sweeper's done and then we can move them back into place and be here another day or night. Earlier this year, Santa Cruz shut down a huge encampment known as Ross Camp. The hundred or so people there scattered across the area. This is kind of like uh, playing a, a game of whack-a-mole or putty. You push in one location, it pops up in another location because we're not dealing with the core of the problem. Police Chief Andy Mills has increased patrols on the beach where officers will cite for things like littering, possession of alcohol or drugs, glass containers, and smoking. Getting such a ticket means a 24-hour ban from Main Beach. But last year, landmark federal ruling that says the homeless cannot be punished for sleeping on public property unless adequate shelter can be provided means the homeless will likely be here for some time. If these homeless folks are abiding by all those rules, then there's not much you can do? No, but take a look at it. We've got hundreds of tents on the beach, so we're not going to segment out one section of society and say you can't have a tent, but everybody else can. So we have to be a little bit clearer in our mandates of what do we want as a city. Micah Posner has lived in Santa Cruz for 30 years and says there's really only one solution. They're not going to have homes until we house them, so that's what we should do. It would be better for everyone. Ludmilla D'Souza is visiting from San Bruno and says she didn't even notice the tents because they blend in, but said one of the occupants was rude and began shouting at them. Does it make you not want to come to the beach here in Santa Cruz anymore? I would say not sure yet. Not sure. I have to kind of experience the rest of the day and see how it goes. Mark says he became homeless two and a half years ago when his landlord doubled his $2,300 rent overnight. To the mom or dad who's nervous about taking their kids to the beach, you say what? Uh, give it a try. In Santa Cruz, Kit Doe, KPIX 5.